everybody. Today we're in Fort Scott, Kansas. This fort, with many original buildings still standing, was built in 1842. It was used as a border patrol type of facility. And the history of this fort is actually a lot like the history of America. That was the edge of the country at that time. Um, we were here to protect the settlers and we were also here to protect the Native Americans because we wanted to make sure that the settlers didn't get into their lands and we didn't make sure the Native Americans stayed on their side of the land. The main tribe that was in the area for a while was the Osage, but as the time we came here in 1842, a lot of the eastern Indian tribes have started to move west. So Cherokee, uh, Shawnee, Pawnee, um, just to name a few. The Osage were actually um, nonviolent. There are stories of actually Native Amer other Native American tribes taking Osage Indians as slaves because they were so nonviolent. Um, but they were also the tallest Native Americans. They were, average height was around six foot. After the Mexican War, um, we got all of this land all the way out to California, and there was no need for a border fort. Um, it was sold off to the town, and uh, many ho many buildings became hotels and um, other other uses. And this was around the time of Bleeding Kansas. Mm -hmm. So Bleeding Kansas was when a lot of free staters and pro-slavery um, supporters were coming in, trying to figure out what is Kansas, since Kansas is right along that line of if you're either Union or um, or the South, you have that fight that's happened. So there was a hotel here that was pro-slavery and you have a hotel here that was free state. So you can imagine there was a lot of tension between the two. So Missouri was a slave state, Kansas was a free state. So how, how many miles is it from here to Missouri? So this really was the border of that uh, conflict, right? Yeah. Um, Missouri was, um, is about 20 miles. So folks, if you're interested in history and you love the frontier, get yourself to Fort Scott, Kansas.